I don't know, what was I saying when it glitched off? Okay, what was I saying? You were talking about the vectors. Vectors. Uh, I think I was answering Mohammed's question. Yeah. Was that where, where we were? Well done, Mohammed. So, so this, this is zero. The vertical velocity is zero. And the horizontal velocity remains unchanged until it hits the ground. Of course, you're going to have air resistance, etc., and that will that will change the trajectory slightly. But um, answer your question. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now, a wonderful question, Mohammed. Thanks. Now, um, so what we did was we have this equation for distance. We'll call it dy equals five t y squared, right? Because it's the time in the vertical vertical direction, correct? So we'll say that ty equals, how do you solve for ty? What would ty be? What would it be? Square root of what? Get it? All right, is that about it? Now, what is the relationship between ty and tx? The time in the x direction versus time in the y direction. What's the relationship? Are they equal? Are they not equal? What? That's going to be very important. I think I've said this. The time in the x direction is going to be the same as the time in the y direction, the time in the y direction, right? So I know that T y, Tx equals Ty. Very important uh, consideration. Okay, are we ready to begin? Well, I'm going to shut the, the camera off, and you're going to try to do those three problems. Clear? All right? You can think of these as three practice quizzes. Clear? This is exactly what we're going to have on Wednesday. Yes? Wednesday. Wednesday is the quiz. Yes. Yes. Are you all right with that? 14, yes. No. I was in the last class. Did you say the 14th? No, no, no. Chapter 14, yes. This isn't directly in Chapter 14. This is in Chapter 14, Daniel, in, the, in terms of the fact that early in the chapter they talk about projectile motion as if if I shoot a projectile straight yeah. and it's going so fast that it that it orbits the earth yeah. okay it's so fast and that dx is so f that dx is so great that it actually orbits the Earth. It misses the Earth. The curvature of the Earth is just too much. Yeah? It's a very, very much a hypothetical problem. That's the relationship that you may have missed in the last class. So if you're curious as to where am I getting this from? This is some random aberration from Darcy's brain. Let's all of a sudden do something out of mechanics. Yeah, understood. Yes, Mohammed. Yeah, I have no problem with that. No problem whatsoever. Clear? All right. Let's see how you do. Let's put these up so you can see everything on camera. Can you see everything? Al, what's the problem? I'm just asking because it's two of my Okay, don't go on camera. Don't go on camera. I, I would prefer that you not know. do that. That's fine. What, what do you need? What does the Vx stand for? That's the velocity in the horizontal direction. X means horizontal. X means horizontal. And Y, means y is vertical, just like on the Cartesian coordinate system. And what's the little O mean? The little O means initial. In physics, you can use I for initial or O. It means naught. V naught, V zero. In other words, the starting. So the starting is horizontal 
direction. That's correct. The the initial velocity is in the horizontal direction, and that naught means this is this means initial direction. The orientation of the arrow is saying it's screaming horizontal. Okay? Are you all right with that? Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Let me back this up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. <clears throat> 